While many of the Rim of the Pacific exercises have taken place far off the coast, this time the action came right to the coast at Bellows Beach. Biggest challenge is your method from getting from the sh uh, ship to the shore. With helicopters circling overhead, a landing craft riding on a cushion of air, along with amphibious assault vehicles, rolled out of the water and onto the beach, carrying forces from Australia, Tonga, and the United States. The biggest thing that takes place is the communication. You have to have that mutual understanding with one another. You have to work together more than just, hey, I'm U.S., you're Australian, let's just try this. That communication was also key in the planning and execution of this massive drill. U.S. forces may have rolled up onto this beach before, but for other countries, it was a first. What's new in this year's exercises are the Japanese security forces that did reconnaissance on these beaches long before the boats hit the shore. After making sure the sands were safe, the forces then pushed inland with their sights set on a makeshift town for practice with urban warfare. So we have a uh, developed town that they're going to push through and clear. We have an OP4, which stands for Opposing Forces, and they're going to push through and try to take out this insurgency that we kind of notionally developed through the training situation. This exercise not only provides important real-life training for those involved, the U.S. Marines feel it also sends an important message out to the rest of the world. This is huge because it shows that the U.S. doesn't just stand alone, that we have other partners throughout the world that have one united stand against one purpose. At Bellows, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.